The average directional index or ADX is a directional movement indicator and is used to measure the strength and direction of a trend. It consists of four main components, the ADX line, the plus DI line, the minus DI line and the 20 level. Let's take a look on how to use this in your trading. First of all, ADX is great to determine if the pair is in a range or in a trend. The ADX line values below 20 level suggest that the price is in a range. And when the ADX rises above the 20 level, it shows that the trend may be starting. So when the ADX is below 20, you can trade range opportunities. You can use indicators like stochastic to look for overbought and oversold readings to determine your entries and exits. When the ADX rises above the 20 level, it signals that the consolidation period is over and you can start looking for breakouts and other trend following strategies. Minus DI and plus DI lines are used to determine the direction of a trend. So, if a plus DI line is on the top, it suggests that the price is trending upwards. And if the minus DI line is on the top, the price is trending downwards. Another important thing about the plus and minus DI lines is the height of the peaks after crossovers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here the plus DI line has been on the top for some time, suggesting an uptrend. When the minus DI line crosses over, we measure the height of its peak. If the peak is lower than the plus DI last peak, it shows that the recent price action has been just a retracement and we should still be looking for buying opportunities. However, if the minus DI peak after the crossover is higher than the plus DI latest peak, it signals us that the trend may be changing and we should start looking at either closing our long positions or looking at selling opportunities. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video about Bollinger Bands and check out other videos from our Chart Indicator course.